How are you? Okay, yeah. I'm just here to grab some of your vital signs, okay? We're gonna be taking your pulse, your blood pressure, your temperature, that kind of thing, okay? So, to take your vital signs, I am going to need to be touching you. Is that okay with you? Excellent. I'll be real quick, and then we will get the doctor in to come talk to you, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and start with taking your temperature. All right, if you could just open up your mouth for me. Lift your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Okay, and I'm just going to put this under your tongue. And you can go ahead and lay your tongue back down. Okay? Good. And we'll just hold this here for a moment. Right. Okay, very good. You just note that down real quick before I forget it. Okay, let's go ahead and take your pulse and your respirations. Do you have any preference as to which wrist I take your pulse from? Okay, yeah, right here. So I'm just going to put my fingers right below your thumb here right on your wrist. This is your radial artery. Got to press down a little bit to feel the pulse there. Okay, so I'm just going to be measuring real quick. Okay. Alrighty, so that's a little quick there. Are you experiencing any anxiety at all? Nervousness with being at the doctor's office? Or is that something new for you? Okay, yeah, it happens. Alright, so that's just something we'll, we'll keep an eye on, okay? Your respirations were well within normal limits, though. So that's good. All right, let's go ahead and grab your blood pressure. So I'm going to pop in the stethoscope real quick. There we go. And any preference as to which arm I take our blood pressure from? Okay, very good. the stethoscope to the crook of your elbow there. Let's see, just making sure that dial is all the way closed. Okay, so now I'm just going to be inflating the cuff. It might get a little firm, it might be a little uncomfortable, but it doesn't take too long to measure. Okay. Let's go ahead and just do that one more time. Okay, and, and there we go. Okay, that looks great. So, let me go ahead and just take off the cuff. Very good. And then 
off goes the stethoscope. So last thing I need to do for you after I just record this down. Blood pressure was great, so I think with with your heart rate being a little a little spicy, I think that that's just something we'll keep an eye on, but nothing nothing we need to worry about right now. But lastly, I just need to take your oxygen saturation levels, okay? So if you could just stick out one of your fingers for me. Okay, and let's go ahead and just pop this on. And we'll just wait a few moments. These devices are, they're pretty quick, okay? Let me see. That looks great. Alright, so let me go ahead and see that back. Very good. Okay. So vital signs look great, and I will let the doctor know that you're all ready to go. Okay? Alright, thank you for letting me take your vitals, and I hope your exam goes well. Hello there. And welcome. My name is Dr. Calliope. I'm going to be taking care of you today. How are you doing today? Okay. I hope by the time you leave this examination, you feel even just the littlest bit better. Now, I understand that we've already taken quite a bit of your information. If you wouldn't mind, I'd just like to ask you to confirm your name and date of birth. Excellent. Okay. I definitely have the right person. And is that your preferred name? How do you like to be addressed? Wonderful. Thank you so much. So it looks like we've already taken down your medical history. We've already gotten your vitals. Now, my job is to give you a nice, thorough examination, answer any health questions you might have, and just assess if there's anything that we need to immediately look at, or if there's anything that perhaps we need to keep an eye on, okay? So is there any particular reason why you wanted this annual physical examination? Okay, very good. So I'm going to start the examination, since you don't have any particular complaints, okay? And I'm going to pop on a pair of gloves. That way we can be sanitary. There we go. All right, so from this point onwards, I will need to be touching you for the examination. Is that okay with you? Do I have your permission to do that? Wonderful, thank you. If at any point you have any pain or discomfort, please let me know so that we can stop the examination. All right? Okay, so to start with, I'm just going to be taking a general look at you, okay? It's a nice general inspection. See if there's anything that stands out to me as something we need to take a closer look at, okay? So I just start around the head, just noting down 
everything looks reasonably symmetrical, reasonably proportioned. If there are any signs of swelling, drooping, any irritation, discoloration, how the pallor looks of your skin, your eyes, your lips, how you're sitting here, you look to be in any pain, if there seems to be any impingement in your movement, if there's any involuntary movements, any signs of any aids, shortness of breath, things of that nature. Almost like, or like a detective, right? You are the investigation, and my job is to ascertain if there is anything out of the ordinary. Okay, very good. And you did say that you didn't have anything in particular that you needed to focus on, correct? No pain, no illness. Okay, very good. From time to time, I may just write down on my clipboard here some notes. Now we are going to be moving on to the integumentary system, which is your skin. We'll also be looking at your hair and your nails, okay? So I'm gonna get a little bit closer here, and I like to start with the hair, okay? So I'm just going to feel around your scalp, see if there's any lumps or bumps that shouldn't be there, just while I'm there, and then we'll look at the quality of your hair, okay? All right, so I like to start here at the hairline, and I just like to look around. This is often where we find it's a little tidbits looking around. Looking around the hairline there, and then over here. Okay. Any pain or tenderness when I palpate the scalp? Okay. Very good. Okay, now I'm just going to look at the hair here. So, you have a good thickness to the hair. It's not brittle. It's not shedding. I'm not seeing any spots of hair loss. you had any problems with your scalp or with your hair lately? Just a bit of frizz, yeah. Humid, isn't it? Okay, very good. Now, I'll work my way down. I'm gonna take a look at your face, specifically on your skin, okay? Again, if there's any change in pallor, there's any signs of things like a rash or 
eczema. There's all sorts of things that can appear on our skin. Just making sure that I'm not seeing that with you. working down. Right. Have you had any problems with your skin as of late? Any rashes or sores, lesions, moles that have changed color or shape? Quality looks good. Not seeing anything out of the ordinary. Okay, let me take a little look at your legs real quick. Okay, looking good here. All right, I think. I think that that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to take a look at your hands, okay? So I'm going to look at the nails primarily, the health of the nails. Many diseases tend to show up in the nails, lots of cardiac diseases, I have a lot of symptoms with the nails. Okay, I'm just going to check the capillary refill while I'm here. I'm just going to press on each finger and just look at how fast the, the blood travels back. Okay, I'm just going to pinch, release, 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 and pinch. Okay, so capillary refill looks great. Your nails look healthy and strong. There's no brittleness to it. The beds look clear and healthy. So, I think I'm quite pleased with that. Very good. Now we're gonna move on to your, your senses. Okay, so we start with the eyes and your sense of vision. Now I have here, you'll give me just a moment, a touch unorganized this fine day. Here we are. Now you may be used to the smelling chart that you see at your eye doctor. What I have here is I have this little sheet that has these numbers and they either have words, series of numbers, or sometimes a series of letters, okay? And I just want you to do your best to take a look at this and tell me what you see, okay? So, can you see this right here? Number one, can you read that? Good. What about number two? Can you read that? Good. And what about number three here? 
Mm-hmm. Number four. Excellent. Number five. Good. Now, how about number nine here? What are the numbers in that? Okay. And how about number eleven? What are our letters here? Okay, what about 12? Mm-hmm. And if we go to number 19 here, can you see that? Good. Let's jump down to 28. Box right here. What does that say? Good. And what about 36 here? Mm-hmm. And 38. Okay. And can you do our 40 right here? Very good. Okay. So I am quite pleased with that. Looks like your vision is quite intact. Now we're going to be doing a few tests that involve a pen light, okay? So our first test is called the direct consensual response test, okay? So what I'm going to be doing is I will hold my hand up between your eyes and I'm going to bring my light in on one side. When I bring my light in on this side, for example, when the light shines in your eye, your pupil should change with the light, right? Yes, so that is our direct response. Now, if I do that same eye, even though your eyes are blocked, at the same time that I put the light in this eye, this other eye should respond in the exact same way at the exact same time. And that is our consensual response, okay? So you don't have to do anything except for just look straight ahead, okay? So I am going to look at our direct, 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 consensual, Consensual. Consensual response. Very good. The other side. Direct. 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 Very good. Consensual. 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 Excellent. Now I want to test your accommodation reflex, okay? So I want you to look at the wall behind me real quick. Very good. Now go ahead and look at this light. Using only your eyes, without moving your head, I want you to follow this light, okay? So we go in and out. In, out, in, and out. Good. Go ahead and look at the wall real quick. And look at this light. Keep following the light. So we go in, and out. In and out, in and out. Very good. So we're going to do a variation of that test real quick called follow the light. 
So you are going to follow the light as the test says using only your eyes without moving your head, okay? Just do the best that you can here and just follow the light. Good, good. Let's keep following the light. Follow the light. Excellent. Follow the light as best as you can. Very good. Okay, let's go up. going to be going just a little bit backwards because we've done all of our tests that we needed to do with the eyes, but I still want to take a little look at them, okay? Just going to do a little bit of inspection. So I'm going to come a little bit closer and I'm just going to dryness, wateriness, itching, burning, vision changes, vision loss. No? Okay. All right, I just want to take a look at the tissues right inside the eyelids, okay? The conjunctiva. So I'm going to have you look up and I'm going to pull down on your eyelids, okay? Go ahead and look up for me. Good, as I pull down. Okay, and go ahead and look down. Yep, and I'm going to pull up on the eyelids. Look down for me. Pull up. Okay, excellent. That looks great. So now we can go ahead and move on to your ears. Okay. And we took a little look at the skin around the ears and behind the ears, but this time I want to focus on the ear itself, okay? So I'm going to take a look at each ear. I'm going to do a little bit of palpation, a little bit of bilateral palpation, and then I'm going to take a look inside with our otoscope, okay? All right, so let me start with this ear. with this? No? Okay. Good. And the other ear. Just gonna have a little look. Just a little look. Right? Very good. Okay. And do a little bit of palpation here. So I feel around the ear. All the skin between my fingers. Is there anything here. Okay. 
I'm gonna feel both ears at the same time, okay? Just let me know if there's any pain or discomfort. I'm gonna start with the lobe. And just work up. Okay, anything at all? Right, and if I press on the tragus here, nothing. Okay, if I feel around inside the bowl of the ear, nothing. Okay, very good. That looks great. Okay, and this is where we get the otoscope out. All right, so with the otoscope, I have a little speculum here, nice clean speculum, and I'm going to be pulling your ear up and back so I can straighten out the ear canal, and then I'm just going to be inserting the otoscope and taking a little look at the inside of the ear, okay? Please let me know if you experience any pain or any discomfort, okay? Ceremony buildup or any signs of infection. If there's perforation on the tympanic membrane, if there's any fluid behind the ear, things of that nature. Okay, your tympanic membrane looks nice, pearly gray. I'm not seeing any holes, there's no fluid, no infection. Okay, just gonna pull the otoscope out. We're gonna look at the other side. Okay, I'm gonna pull up and back. And then we're just going to look inside the ear. Okay, do you have any problems at all with your hearing or ear pain? seeing any signs of anything out of the ordinary here. Okay. Very good. Now finally, I like to do just a simple hearing test. All right. I'm just going to be whispering words into one ear and I want you to tell me what those words are. Okay. All right. So if you could just close your eyes for me real quick. Okay? And just repeat the words that I say. Floral. Greenery. Stem. Yellow. Okay? Okay, very good. You can open your eyes. All right. Looks good. Okay. So, no problems with hearing. Okay, now we're going to take a peek into your nose, your mouth, and your throat. Okay. Have you had any problems lately with your sense of smell? No. Okay. So I'm going to get a new speculum on our otoscope and then we can take a look inside the nose. So if you could tip your head back for me, I'm just going to be putting the otoscope right up next to the nose. I'm not going to be going inside, but this, this little speculum helps me see better, okay? So, 
all the tissues inside the nose look pretty healthy. Not seeing any signs of of any hole perforation in the septum. There's no deviation. Okay. Look at the other side here. You haven't had any problems breathing. All right, looks pretty good. Okay, now let's take a little peek inside the mouth. All right, so first I want to look at the tissues of the mouth as well as the teeth. Then we're going to be looking at your throat. Okay, so if you could just open your mouth for me. Good, and I want to take a look at the oral mucosa. If you had any problems with your sense of taste at all, any problems with eating, any swallowing difficulties? Okay. Teeth look good. Any tooth pain at all? No? Okay. I'm not seeing any outward signs of cavities. That's good. Okay, if you could lift your tongue to the roof of your mouth for me. Good. Okay, that looks good. Now go ahead and put your tongue down. This time I'm going to look at your throat. Okay, I'm just going to press your tongue down. Good. Right, looks good. The tissues look healthy. Tonsils don't look inflamed at all. Can you say, ah, uh, for me? Mm-hmm. That's a little hard with the tongue depressor. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Do you have any problem with sore throats? Anything of that nature? So seasonal allergies and whatnot. Very good. Okay, so before we move down to your chest, we're going to look at your lymph nodes real quick, okay? So I'm going to start at the back of your head, the occipital nodes, and then I just work my way forward around the ear, down the jaw, under the jaw, in the neck, okay? You just let me know if there's any pain or tenderness, all right? So we start with the occipital nodes, back of the head. Good. Okay. And then post auricular here behind the ears. Okay. Pre auricular. All right. While I'm here looking at the parotid gland. Okay. The jugular digastric. Okay, and submandibular. Submental. Okay, and in the neck we have superficial cervical. We have the deep cervical chain. And we have posterior cervical. Okay, and then just along your clavicle here, we have supraclavicular. Okay, didn't find any distension and you didn't say there was any pain or tenderness, so lymph nodes look good. Now we're going to move on to the heart and lungs, okay? So let's go ahead and do a little bit of auscultation. Now while I'm listening to the heart, you don't have to do anything really, just breathe normally, okay? Alright, so I'm going to start here with the aortic area. Pull 
harmonic. Tricuspid. Mitral. And herbs point here. All right, so now I'm going to take a listen to your lungs, and this time when I tell you, I want you to breathe in, okay, and breathe out. Start right here. Take a deep breath in. And out. 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 Deep breath in, and out. Good, okay. So I want to do a little percussion with the lungs. Now with percussion, I'm just going to be taking my fingers and laying them on your chest and tapping on your chest. And I'm listening for the sounds that come back. Okay? All right, so just go ahead and keep breathing normally. Just sit there and I'll do all the work. Excellent. So now we're going to go ahead and look at the abdomen, okay? So I'm going to auscultate first. Right? And just go ahead and breathe normally, all right? Just listening all over your abdomen here. Had any problems with your digestion at all? Okay. All right, let me go ahead and we'll do some percussion. Okay. So I'll we'll just go ahead and keep breathing normally. some palpation. So with palpation, there's going to be two intensities. I do a light palpation first and then a deep palpation, okay? The deep one might be a little uncomfortable, but it doesn't last too long, okay? Just helps to keep breathing through it, all right? So I'm going to start with the light palpation here. Just feeling around the organs. Feeling the borders of the organs. Please let me know if there's any pain or tenderness. Okay, 
Now we're going to do that deep palpation. Just remember to breathe through it. It's not, not fun, huh? Okay, we are nearly at the end. So we're gonna do a little musculoskeletal examination. So I just want to look at the muscle tone, your arms and your legs. Might do a little bit of range of movement tests, okay? Have you had any pain in any of your joints, your muscles, any problems with range of movement? No? Okay. So let's look at your arms first. Okay. Have a good muscle build here. Okay, and if you could just let me take the weight of your arm, I'm just going to move it around, okay? And look at your shoulder, your elbow, wrist, okay? I'm going to move you around. Okay, just, just relax, let me take the weight. Okay, so let's see, the shoulder... Very good, and the elbow. Okay, and how about the wrist? All right, very good. A little bit of clicking, but otherwise, any pain? No? Okay. Let's get to your other arm here. Some palpation, feeling the muscle, and then we'll work the range of movement. Okay, if you could let me take the weight of your arm again. Very good. Shoulder. Good, and the elbow. Okay. <laughs> and the hand here, the wrist. Okay, very good. Let me look at your legs real quick. All right, so looking like some pretty good muscle tone on the legs. Any problems with the joints, your hip, knee, ankle, anything with your, your feet or your toes? No? Okay. Well, the leg is kind of goofy to move around, so I'm gonna have you just, just do some some strength tests here, okay? So I'm going to press down on your leg. I want you to push up against me, okay? Good, and I'm going to try to pull them up. I want you to resist me. Very good, okay? And I'm going to try to push against your shins. I want you to resist me. Okay, very good. And I'm going to try to pull them forward. I want you to resist me. Okay, very good. Now I'm going to try to push your feet down. I want you to resist me. Good. Now I'm going to try to push your feet up. I want you to resist me. Okay, very good. Can you roll your ankles around a little bit for me? Yep, just back and forth. Okay, and can you lift up your legs? 
We get that movement in the knee. Okay, and can you shift your leg outwards so we can see the hip movement? Okay, on both sides, yeah. Okay, and can you lift your leg up? Whole thing, so we can see the hip. Okay, and any pain or discomfort in any of that? No? Okay. All right, so lastly, I want to look at your spine, okay? So I'm going to have you get up and I'm going to do the same. I'm going to have you bend over like you're going to go touch your toes. You only have to go as far as your mid thigh and I'm just going to look at the spine. The reason we do that is that position exaggerates any potential scoliosis, any curve in the spine, helps exaggerate any problems that we might be having, okay? All right, so if you could get up, and I'm just gonna go behind you. Okay. Give you just a moment. Okay, now I'm just gonna feel the spine and look at it, okay? And you haven't mentioned any problems with your back. Do you have any problems at all? No? Okay. Just feeling each vertebra. Making sure there isn't any pain or tenderness. You're not seeing any overt curve. Okay, now I want you to come back up to standing but I want you to go real slow about it, okay? Okay, all right, any pain with that? No, okay. I'm just gonna sit back down. All right, so last, last test, I promise. I'm just gonna have you walk to the other end of the room for me. I'm just gonna look at your gait and balance. Okay, so if you could just walk over there. Good, and if you could walk back on your toes, so walking on your tiptoes. Okay, and if you could walk back, but on your heels. Yeah, it's kind of funny, huh? Okay, and if you could come back, and I swear this is the last time, but if you could walk heel to toe, so that your toes touch your heels as you walk. Uh -huh. Good, okay. Now you can sit down, I promise. All right, so that will about do it. So I'm thinking that there isn't really anything we need to keep an eye on. You're not expressing any pain or any concerns with anything, which is ideally how we want to how we want to leave our examination. If you do end up having anything you want to discuss, whether it's screenings or anything you you want to watch out for, just let us know, okay? But otherwise, I think, I think just keep up on your, your regular annual examinations and I should be able to, to keep you nice and healthy, okay? Do you have any final questions for me at all? No? Okay, so I'm just going to sign off. Very good. And that will be the end of our exam. Thank you so much for coming into my office today. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a whale of a day and a good rest of your night. Thank you. Bye now.